See, you know what? Let me ask you your opinion on this because so like I'm so okay. Okay. I, we talked about yesterday that I said there's been a lot of movies and shows on recently on Netflix that are very female centric, and I'm enjoying some very much so because they really give a feminine perspective, and like for myself, I'm saying, listen, the world is the world is. Yeah, well, no, no. I'm like realistically, I'm like, listen, the world is changing. If I can adapt to a female centric viewpoint as well, that makes me more versatile. It helps me understand what goes through people's minds. Okay, that's yes, my. Yes, it does. But so I saw some, and I was like, okay. Yeah, your vagina is very nice. Well, yeah, well you know, listen, it's not, it's it's vagina, not vagimi. <laughs> it's in this, you know, I don't know. <laughs> no, that, that there's another word that works for, but not that one. It's uterus, not uteri. Yeah. Vadino. So, tell me. Vadino. Oh my God, the Vadino. I, I don't That's have a Vadino. That's perfect. Anyways, the new word anyways. For vagina. But so oh, the new word for a vagina is a Vadino. <laughs> a vagina. That's a Vadino. That's not. Vadino. That's a horrible word. That is Vadino. a horrible word. The Vadino. Is, so, okay, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me let me say this. Okay, so but then I've watched other other ones okay. with a female uh, lead role, and and they're horrible. Like. Cause it, they're worse than anything. Like you know what? Like you see a shitty action movie with just dicks. Like it's all men. You know, you're like, this is pretty horrible. But at least there's action. Worse than that, where I'm going, I don't understand what's going. On. And I'm trying to say, okay, am I am I a bad guy that I'm not trying to stretch myself to learn, or is this men trying to write like women and that's why it's so shit? And I'm going, I think it's that way, right? It's men pretending. Yeah. It's like it's like a yeah. guy who says, "I'm an ally." I'm like, "You're a weasel," and I don't trust you immediately. I'm like, "Someone, you don't get to say I'm an ally." Someone says, "Hey, thanks for being an ally." That's okay. But you saying I'm an ally? Pfft, bullshit. Yeah. You're trying to get stamped. You're, You're a sneaky weasel. You're a sneaky weasel, and we all know it. It's like when a drug dealer when a drug dealer says, "I got no, you," he doesn't, he got, doesn't you. got you. If anybody doesn't says he doesn't got you. That's why. Listen, doesn't got you. after all is said and done, people, listen, I, I, I work off that uh, Jack Sparrow principle. I can trust an, uh, just an unhonest person to be unhonest, like dishonest, but I can't trust an honest person that he will always be honest. Yep. Like, and I'm like, you know, that, that there is yep. a lot of logic that comes to that because if I know you're dishonest, then I know how to play the game. I need to protect myself against you as well as be with you. So it's it's a multi. I know how to prepare. Yeah. But if I'm expecting your honesty and you're dishonest, what the fuck, right? It's just, and then you can be pleasantly surprised that hey, my backup plan, I didn't need it because you turned out honest. <laughs> Who knew? It's a good thing. I don't know. It's who knew? It's awesome. But yeah, like so, I'm, I'm seeing this kind of stuff and I'm I'm enjoying it a lot. But I'm, I understand the debate that's going on now where people are like, oh, you have women that are playing traditionally male roles and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't think that's the argument. I think the argument is, uh, is are they pandering I mean, versus trying to, to expand our understanding? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It just kind of sucks. I think that it kind of sucks because it's making it, it's like forcing us into it. It's like, if it's not meant to, don't take a job you're not qualified for, in general. I don't care if you're a man, if you're a woman, anything. If you're not qualified to do the job, you hire the person that's qualified. Yeah. Or you hire the person... Like, there's some things that don't make sense. Like, what, a, all of a sudden we're going to have a woman play JFK? Like, in the next JFK? Listen, like, just because, so that way a woman gets a woman's role? Like, I don't JFK understand where lady, you draw the line. A, better a woman's going to play Elvis? <laughs> But is a woman gonna play Elvis? Yeah, you know what I mean. Just because you gotta get yeah. a woman in the role, like it's, that's is pandering. that like now does it have to be? It, well, it's just like it's not right, and it's like a certain amount of women have to be hired at a workplace in order to meet a certain standard or a certain anything, and it's just it doesn't make sense to me. Like, and and that's why feminists, I just don't get it. Like, okay, but some things we're just not fucking qualified for. I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. It's just some things, men aren't qualified. Men are not going to walk around and be the next Whitney Houston. Men are, there's not going to be a man casted yeah. for... Wonder Woman. Well, could Wonder Woman not, be... Tra could Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman be, Wonder be Woman. posed by, replaced by a man? No. It's Wonder Woman. That's insane, be, right? No. But it's the now, same fucking On that thing. note, though, is now it's there's the a Batwoman, right? Why is there a Batwoman? Well, because there used to be a Batgirl. Mm -hmm. So now they know well, there's now a Batwoman. 
But in the comics, Batwoman isn't supported by Batman. Batman is like, no, you're a rookie. You're being dangerous. You're not good. So it's like it's it's yeah. it's very very complex, and I'm I'm worried. But we have to change everything just to be suited. To I know, and that's but that's the thing on. is we should be changing things because hey, we can do better. You know, because honestly, I've seen. So I just watched Cursed, which was a show on on Netflix. It was the first season. It was actually okay. It's a little bit muddied. It's kind of a King Arthur type tale, uh, but it's based from Nimue, uh, Nimue's perspective. Nimue is the Lady of the Lake. And it's kind of her story and how everyone interacts with her. And there was a few episodes where I'm like, this is fucking yeah. stupid. But then they kind of made her her own where she she gave a female perspective, but at the same time took on the job of being the uh, uh, protagonist of the story too. So it's like, it was a good combination. So it made it, it made it a better written story. But in the beginning, she, they made her, yeah. uh, honestly, from my perspective, it almost seemed like she was weak. And I'm like, no, this lady's not weak. You're, you're writing it wrong. You're writing it like like yeah. a man would write that women yeah. are weak. Women are not weak. There's anyone who says yeah. that. I'm like, listen, yeah. there's the physical <laughs> aspect that it's maybe, so but honestly, <laughs> women are not weak. No, it's not it's even. Not, it doesn't. No, it's not even. Uh, but we're, no, we're not as no, strong as men. We're not. But you're strong in so many way. other I'm ways sorry. to make men because look pathetic. Strong. Right? It doesn't. Yeah, exactly. Like physically, we might not be built the same, but right. you know what I mean. Like, and there are women that can beat yeah. up some men. But Which, at the end honestly, of the day, if it's the, the best thing trained, I've ever seen is a woman kick the shit out of a man. <laughs> but the, but honestly, like a trained, yeah. trained man and a trained like UFC, like cyborg versus Conor McGregor or something. No, they're not the same mm -hmm. weight class. Oh, maybe sure. same weight class. Guess what? Conor McGregor's still gonna win. It's well, just gonna happen. And that's and that's I'm the sorry. whole thing like, is that you know because <laughs> uh, now there's a lot with regards to uh, transgender people and, and what's happening there with regards to sports and it's very com well. It's not it's right. Very very complex and I don't think either of us are qualified to deal with it. To be honest with you. Well, no, but you can't have thirty years of yeah. testosterone. However old they are when they go and get this, you can't have that much testosterone and then take some estrogen and and be a woman and fight women. Uh, well, that's not. It's not I don't, fair. I don't it's not fair. Unless a woman yeah. signs off to, yeah, I want to have this fight knowing damn well that that was yeah. a man before. And knowing that and she wants and to sign why, off like, to that, it's fine. About, it's about that's disclosure. Fine. That's great. Uh -huh. But if not, yeah, and that's it. And if not, then no, that's not right. Because there was a guy that was whipping women's asses yeah. in the UFC. And not, he wasn't, okay. Like, Sorry, she wasn't a skilled fighter. She could fight. But no. she beat these women savagely, but like abusively. She's had thirty something years yeah, of testosterone. That's just a harder punch, a harder bone, Put in it's her a body harder before everything. That. And that, and when yeah, finally, you can't do it. That's why guys well, take testosterone in order to get stronger. It's finally, in the when she fought, when she fought a very <laughs> talented uh, female fighter, she got the mm -hmm. shit kicked out of her. And you're going, mm -hmm. see, this is the thing. Yep. Is if it was disclosed knowingly, I think she she most likely would have still had the majority of those fights. But undisclosed, you're yeah. going, that's, that's taking but advantage. But at least exactly. the women like, would have known. That has to be a conscious choice. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's very tricky. I don't I don't get it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Guys, we're just comics talking about shit. Mostly about pooping, fucking and shit. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> this is when we start to get like serious about shit that we don't know really 100% about. <laughs> We're just talking from our perspectives, from our personal dumb perspectives that he's eating Twizzlers, I'm eating, I stuck nerds to a piece of Laffy Taffy. <laughs> so I created my own little concoction. <laughs> so this is You got a problem, lady. Okay. I'm eating a Twizzler, but you're like using a Twizzler as a straw out of a slushy. Like this is, you've gone crazy. <laughs> That's so good. I know. I'm fat. I know these things, but you shouldn't know them. <laughs> yeah? You're appropriating my culture. I dropped some of <laughs> Can being fat be a culture? I think so. <coughs> I think being fat be a, my my heritage. Maybe. I've been fat I think for a so. long time. <laughs> Your heritage? <laughs> I picture you skinny sometimes. <laughs> I'm a wife. 
<laughs> the more she talks, the more I love my wife. My wife is my wife. I want to say that in a good way. I don't love you, Skitty, though. I don't like it. <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> no, 